yeah, basically, we made it! Yay! Um, and I just want to thank everyone again for being here for the 2018 R Networks. Over the past two days, we've heard about a variety of community-owned, decentralized, and mesh projects, hopes, and dreams. Uh, I hope many of you have deepened relationships with folks working on similar stuff, met new people in person, or those that you've only known online. Uh, we weren't sure what to expect for this second iteration, but thought we could use the closing as a form of like, like knock, like network operation center, postmortem slash uh, reflection. So I would like to invite Yurko up to just give us a little bit of a, a state of the live stream. <laughs> All right, well, first of all, I just wanted to thank again uh, PitMesh for donating the server, all the work IPFS did to try to get this to work as best as it could, and Hank, Elon, um, Ben, for all the work you guys have put in to make this thing work, so thank you very much. And everybody on the chat and whatnot that helped test this thing, so thank you. Um, so really quickly, uh, go back one. All right, so, um, I mean, wasn't, uh, we didn't get a thousand people. We thought we might get maybe three. Um, we picked off at about nine users, which, eh, it's not bad. Oh, wow. You know, um, and uh, today we came pretty close with about eight. Um, for some reason, our hard drive usage spiked like crazy towards the end. Good thing it was towards the end. But, um, yeah, I mean, nine users is, you know, maybe nothing to write home about, but for a prototype model, that worked sustainably, it's pretty good. So, till next year. <laughs> um, so the next stop for videos is that um, we're hoping by mid-August we'll have recordings up in various places, update the website, and send out an email. Um, and then also, uh, in the spirit of this sort of sharing and reflecting on how to do things with others, and what it might mean to do that in the context of planning a an event about decentralization. Uh, we kind of wanted to peek behind the curtain of how we planned this. Um, that was kind of a curtain that was open all along. Uh, oops, I meant to, well, we're good. <laughs> so we had set a few goals for this year. First, uh, we wanted to get uh, the ability from 80 people to attend up from 40 last year. Second, we wanted to hit capacity, especially to try and convince folks who are from out of town that Toronto was worth the trip. Uh, and then maybe we had a secret heart goal of excellent swag. Um, so I'm beyond stoked to say we hit those goals, uh, and it wasn't all straightforward. Um, and so because of the theme of this event, we were really trying to think about uh, how could we do this without relying on centralized tools and practices, and we ran into trouble. Or more accurately, I think we navigated a series of compromise, um, and, uh, compromises, and we're kind of still able to imagine some form of what a community-coordinated decentralized event might one day be about. So the things I wanted to like toot uh, our horn about were uh, we you know, planned openly with calls, uh, public repository, coordinated to-dos, taking notes, um, publishing info, including our budget and sponsorship requests, all in public. Um, and some people did hop on or pay attention. We heard back from them throughout the course of planning to today. Um, we were able to offer on an honorarium for speakers, which I think recognizes an important form of labor behind these events that often goes under-acknowledged. Um, we offered scholarships. We offered community billets from folks throughout of town. We had, uh, I said, we went above and beyond in our lanyard game. I don't know how we top this, but <laughs> pretty happy. Uh, and stuff that was tricky and that we spent uh, the most time struggling with was kind of trying to reconcile our values with existing tools. So the kind of particular pain points were receiving proposals from folks interested in talking. And so that's something that I think we all wanted to like try and rethink about how that could be better structured. Also handling registration, especially if money is involved. Um, even website hosting, we self-hosted, also on DAT collaboration platforms and more kind of proved to be these sites where we had to have these like, how far up or down the stack do we want to talk about where our values uh, should be reflected. Um, and so I think maybe more broadly, this is just like the similar form of grappling with being embedded in a centralized world. Um, so the, the main things that I think we said we wanted to do better on and kind of like our, our points that we wish could have uh, yeah, we could have come through on here more, was thinking about how to help folks with travel costs, and then also like drawing in those who don't see themselves as technical. 
Um, and so I kind of just want to wrap this part up by just a huge, huge, huge thank you to the co-organizers. So Sarah, Pacon, uh, Gary, Ben, our volunteers, uh, Shakila and David, including live streaming folks, which Yurko already shouted out, but Yurko, Hank, Elon, Pitmesh, uh, all, the, all the support from people testing uh, and kind of like being in the wings. And then, this isn't really goodbye though, so I don't know why I'm acting all sad. <laughs> we still have three days set aside for project sprints, a little bit more on conference -y. Uh, We'll convene not at this venue at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. We'll send an email out to everyone on the registration list just as a reminder. Um, and for those who have to take off, but maybe around tonight, we are continuing um, the sort of roll on after parties <laughs> chain. <laughs> so at 7 p.m., with enough time for you all to get out and be outside, maybe get space away from folks, we're gonna reconvene um, for a meeting at Trinity Commons in Kensington Market um, for drinks, but there's also a full menu and food available there. And, and then for those who kind of wanna be inside for a while but go back outside, um, we're, there's a free movie in Christie Pitts Park, uh, In the Mood for Love, that starts at sundown, um, but you usually have to get there a little closer to 8, 8.30. And then finally, um, just to say again, uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Internet Society, Protocol Labs, DAPHub, the .org folks, um, MakerDAO sponsoring the kickoff Yamaichi we co-hosted with BitBazaar, Consensus, uh, Sticker Mule, Quantum Coffee, Typher for InKind, and then finally, but certainly not uh, least, Mozilla Semaphore Research Cluster at the University of Toronto and the Toronto Media Arts Centre. That's it. See you in 2019.